Good morning, and welcome to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I want to talk about this like vision strategy I brought into taking down Morningstar. Unfortunately, I'm not a good enough player. Uh, I did make a mistake, and because of that, I wasn't able to clear her. Part of that is the damage I take from recoil, but also just the fact that I made this one mistake and it totally nuked like half my health. Um, but the Morningstar uh, Alliance quest boss is essentially just Morningstar. So if I let this go here, you can see that... Uh, the very far left node, uh, the link node, is all or nothing, which means that she will store her power until its third special attack. Um, and because of that, if you bring Vision specifically, because he is also bleed immune, um, and I'll play this through a little bit just to show you the rest of the nodes, you can see that the other nodes on her, the local nodes, are enhanced bleed. Um, so if you're bleed immune, you can completely ignore this. And oppressive curse, where she gains soul charges every time she's blocked. Now. The thing about the uh, Oppressive Curse, as I'll let this go on, because uh, I also click her abilities here just so I can kind of show you what those are. So the Soak uh, Charges is that every time she gains one, it kind of ramps up. So her Awakened ability is essentially if your champion has Theory, Regeneration, or Power Gain, she saps that. Uh, so again, Vision ignores all of these, but you definitely don't want to bring any champions that trigger any of those. Um, the Theory and the Regeneration you can manage. It's specifically the Power Gain that is a huge drag. Um, let this scroll down here. Um, but the reason Vision is so good against Morningstar here is that if you were bleed immune, uh, you can see that every time you hit her, uh, you would have a chance to bleed, just that one soul charge. Um, but because you are bleed immune, you don't have to uh, worry about that. At two, sp two souls, her special one is a unstoppable uh, buff for two and a half seconds, kind of just like unstoppable Colossus. At special, at three souls, her special two becomes unblockable. But the thing is, is if you leave that far left path, the linked node there, the all or nothing node, uh, uncleared, then she's going to hold all of her power all the way up until special three. So you can completely ignore two soul and three soul stacks. Uh, at four soul, she gains uh, a sizable chunk of energy resist as well as perfect block chance, um, but minus the fact that that just makes the fight longer, you can mostly ignore that. Um, and then finally, at five souls, she has a chance on hit to lifesteal, uh, which again, if you are a good player and don't make as many mistakes as I did, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then just kind of one more thing on her heavy attack, uh, she has a 100% chance to trigger a power gain, uh, granting 5% max attack power. And again, as long as uh, you aren't getting hit, I don't think you have to worry about that. You might have to worry about that. Uh, it might passively trigger. I don't know. Because I brought vision to this and I was repeatedly just burning in her entire charge bar, I didn't have to worry about any of these mechanics. Uh, because with the all or nothing, when she holds out for a special three, as long as you drain her bar before she gets to her special three, you can completely ignore the mechanics of this fight. So you can see going in here, I start off pretty strong, um, but it's fairly early on that I make a pretty big mistake. You know, parries are going well, the fight's going well. Um, I'm not, bam, power burn, free, uh, free mechanic fight. Yep, and so there, I got a little greedy. I thought that I could punish that uh, that heavy attack, but I must have just screwed up there. And you can see that that really chunked my health bar. Um, unfortunately, my 5-star vision is only rank 3. Um, I am a newer player, but you can see from here, I do play pretty well. Uh, I do have to be mindful that recoil is going to kill me. So I even know at this point that like there's no way I'm going to be able to kill her just because of recoil damage. Um, but if I wasn't running recoil, I wouldn't have had to worry about that kind of play this out um i play the rest of the fight fairly well try to get the most out of my special two here because i know that i'm gonna die in the long run anyways um and it's actually at this point that i make another mistake coming up and so i was going for the parry and i just have the timing off a little bit wrong there you have to like delay for a fraction of a second uh, and because of that i'm not able to get one more power burn i was really hoping to get her down to like 30 percent or something um and then there again i got greedy uh better players than me more patient players than me would be able to take this down no problem um unfortunately that is not something i am 
Uh, but that said, this vision strategy is a really, really good way to just kind of meme the fight. Uh, and it worked very well for me. If I was a better player, I definitely feel like I would have been able to take this on. But hopefully, if you have vision, both visions will work in this case. Um, you can just leave that far left path uncleared. Uh, not uncleared, but like don't take the link node down until after you take down um, Morningstar. And then you can easily, easily take her down uh, with vision specifically. That said, there are a lot of other options. Um, if you want me to make a video discussing other options, feel free to ask. Uh, but that said, this video has gone on longer than it needs to, and I will talk to you later.